This conversation is about legal writing and what is the top one mistake that a lot of us make which turns any reader off, whether it's a recruiter or a client or your senior. Now, one thing people don't realize is grammatical mistakes that they make, okay? And you may not have learned grammar from the beginning in a perfect way. Or, you know, like our past experiences, many of our learnings from grammar or some of our learnings from of English grammar can be imperfect. And the problem with English grammar errors are that they are persistent. If I do not know when I need to add a conjunction or if I do not know when I need to add an article like a, and or the, then I will regularly and consistently make that mistake in all drafts. And if somebody corrects it once, I will still not catch what the gap is. And that's the persistence of it. Now, how do I deal with this? The first thing is that I need to recognize that this is important. If I don't recognize the importance of it, then uh, it's not going to work. And I've tried many times by explaining to people how important this is, but it has never altered their behavior. So I'm going to try something new here. Okay. Imagine you are going to office every day from home and you carry your laptop in your bag and you carry uh, your lunchbox also in it. Okay. And it has all kinds of like curd, pulses, dals basically, and maybe sambar, whatever you carry. Okay. Maybe it has a cup of uh, coffee also, you know, in a in a good container. Now imagine that each one of these containers has a few holes in it. It is all leaky. Now what's going to happen by the time you reach office? It's all in the same bag with your laptop and your books and your files. Can you imagine what's going to happen to your work? How destructive it can be to your career if if your everything will malfunction, right? It will be a big mess. And how difficult it will be to even clean your bag up every day. Now, that's what happens when you publish things with incorrect grammar or when you send your work out to somebody else with incorrect grammar. How do you fix this? Okay. Now, how you fix it is by using, one is learning English grammar, but most people don't know where to start from. So, you could use a tool like Grammarly and you can even take a paid account of Grammarly. It costs about $60 for a year, for a month that's much lesser and author everything inside it. And every time you find a green line or a red underline, you will realize that uh, you will realize that there's some grammatical error and it suggests how to fix it. So when you make the same grammatical error five times and you're fixing it five times, your brain will start, start to pick up the patterns. And Grammarly has a uh, Google Docs add-in also. It has a Microsoft Word add-in also. Sometimes a paid account doesn't work on that. So you can use a free account of Grammarly also. That's also very good, but it will significantly elevate your grammar. Okay. Also start paying attention to where it is deficient. Remember that it's like your leaky tiffin, which spoils your whole bag that you take to work. Okay. And therefore destroys your future.